up to all you good looking people out there, how you doing? And if you're ugly, how you doing? <laughs> I made a startling discovery. I think I made an interesting correlation. There seems to be a correlation between bees and extremist Muslims. And I think the government is going to be especially interested in this top secret information that I am about to reveal to you. If you look at bees, they live in a colony. They all work together. They have secret communication. They do their little buzz dance. They are able to communicate secret locations to other members of the colony through this special communication. And they have separate colonies here and there. They communicate where the sweetest nectar is. But most importantly, when something comes to invade their homes, the bee is like, bzz, 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 bzz. oh shit. But now I gotta go sting this motherfucker. Which means I'm gonna die. Fuck. And they go and they sting, knowing they are going to die. But a bee doesn't. He just goes. And I figure, Muslim extremists live in cell, live in colonies throughout the world, have their own secret communicative language. And when it's time, when they feel their homeland is threatened, they're like, oh fuck. Now I gotta go jihad this motherfucker. I gotta die. And then they go bomb someplace. These extremist Muslims, there is a connection. So all you beekeepers and anthropologists come up with a theory, give it to our government, and boom, we solved it. What? I'm a genius. Not really. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, then bye. <laughs>